All right, guys, quick video, new tool of the week, this bench vise. I got it from Harbor Freight. I think it was like 80 bucks. I used the 25% off coupon, so it's like 60 bucks. I know that some of you are probably shocked that I have never had a vise. So this is my first one. Got a cheap one, needed it. Uh, wanted something that I could attach to my Husky tool uh, chest here. Uh, and I just got it mounted up. I'll show you how I did that real quick, but I just wanted to talk about why I wanted to orient it like this. Most people that I see installing these things, uh, note, of course, that there's only three mounting points on it. Uh, there's not a fourth one, and they always seem to line the fourth one up, like, right here. Uh, but there's a couple of reasons that doesn't make any sense to me. A, I can get it a lot closer to the edge, which means that if I want to work on something that hangs down, I have more clearance this way and B when you're pushing and pulling on this stuff where does all the torque go you're going this way and you're lifting up back here so that's you know where you want it nice and secured when you're pushing down here it's hitting the table it's not being um, torsioned off of that so uh, here it is installed uh, this one is pretty cool because it first of all it swivels uh, all 360 degrees so if I want to work on something coming out this way I can do that on this edge or I can swing it back over here and they have these uh, two guys right here that lock this down to prevent it from swiveling you got to tighten both of these things up and then it won't swivel anymore and it also has this little guy where if you loosen him it goes at an angle it has a useless uh, angle gauge here because this is the part that turns and there's no marking on it to tell you where zero is even if you wanted to know but it lets you spin it upside down and now you have a pipe clamp up here so you can see that you can uh, clamp on pipes or round or square or crazy shaped objects and then you got this cool little uh, thing up top where you can clamp on some square rectangular odd shaped objects and you got a tiny little anvil here to beat on and uh, there's another kind of useless marking here oops if I flip this back up so this is kind of like a depth gauge I guess so if you open the clamp now you know theoretically this will tell you that this is two inches wide Will I ever use that? I don't know, maybe. Is it accurate? Probably not. But uh, it clamps down tight. It's got, you know, adequate grip here. You can take these off and replace them if you want. I've seen some kind of uh, generic one size fits all, like soft thing that goes on here to clamp things uh, kind of like with a soft rubber so you don't mar it and damage it. So I'll probably order one of those, but Overall, for the price of this thing, uh, it looks pretty cool. I'm excited to use it. All right, this is scary. I'm drilling through my nice wooden husky table. I marked the three spots where this thing is going to go. This was a 5 16 inch bit is what I went with. So you can see the, the reason that I chose this spot over here is because it clears the hardware right here and I needed to do that to uh, drill through obviously so all the spots were strategically placed so this table uh, is super cool because you can crank it up so I'll have plenty of room to get under here to put the nuts on but you can see that's what you got to work with to avoid the metal bars down here I got really lucky and had this bag of washers laying around. So this is the size that I'm using in case you guys want to order some. And then for my bolts, I always save these when I buy, you know, like TVs or something that have a bunch of different kind of mounting hardware with them. Because you never know when you're going to get one that is the perfect length to go through here and accept a nut when you get super lucky and find an old nut that fits these bolts. So, uh, washer. It's perfectly in there. Bolt after drilling drops right down and attach the nut. Nice. 
All right, guys, hope you found that helpful. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Check out the other tools of the week. I have links to them down in the description of this video, and I'll see you guys on the next video.